everybody, it's Rachel in the Dolly Cam. We are here live in Springfield, Illinois. It's a little loud, but I'm about to go somewhere that's a little bit more quiet. It's the Rose Percy Green Room, and we're going to have a wonderful one-on-one -on -one with Michael Canadis and his team to see all of the wonderful dolls that will be auctioned at the Rose Percy event on Saturday. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, and we're going to go inside. This is the Mary Todd green room. Hello, Michael. Hi, Rachel. How are you? Good. Good. You're live in the dolly cam with your entire team back there. How there are you guys? Are. Busy, 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 busy. So this is the first time we've ever had a sneak peek into production of a Rose Percy event, and it's very exciting for all of our viewers. Well, we're glad to have you here. Thank you for having us. So we have been uh, advertising big time that we have this special opportunity with you tonight to see the wonderful dolls that will be auctioned at the Rose Percy yes. event. Yes, you do. So for those that are tuning in, and we've been talking about the Rose Percy a lot, but for those that are tuning in that might not uh, know what is exactly going on, can you give us uh, the rundown? Sure. Um, tomorrow morning, we're having a Red Cross brunch, which is kind of our kickoff um, event. And there will be a, uh, a program, and the program will just really focus on a portion of Rose Percy's Red Cross participation, which is almost 100 years. So we're going to just really stick to the World War I time period. And there will be a small display, which I believe your viewers will get to see of all of her Red Cross memorabilia and artifacts. And then tomorrow night will be the Red Rose Percy's official welcome ceremony. And that is kind of a little more of an austere, just get together cocktail party. And then Saturday, which is what everybody's getting ready for, is the full deal. The big event. The big deal. That's where Rose Percy and her trousseau and all of her items are put out for display. We have uh, dealers, many uh, Ruby Lane dealers that will be there selling their wares. We have live auction items, um, silent auction items, and raffle items. And all of the money that's raised goes to veterans' charities. And so what we wanted to, so Rachel wanted you to see today were the centerpiece dolls that are going to be auctioned off. It would be kind of difficult to show them in situation because the table's seat 10 and the items are in the middle of the table. It's kind of hard to get your cameras and things there. But they're all set up now. And we have this incredible opportunity. Just, yeah. So these dolls, you, you and your team play a huge role in getting them ready. What has the last month been like for Well, you? for us, our beauty department has <laughs> dressed over 85 dolls. Oh my. So it's a big, it's a big, big deal. deal. But you know, this is kind of a fun project to do because all the things, the items are themed mm -hmm. and we want to have a kind of a cohesiveness and patriotic and, and civil war and World War I because it's not just the civil war. Right. Because Rose Percy's history is 150 years, really. So, it's, the so, buzz surrounding this has just been incredible. This is the place that everyone uh, needs to be or wants to be if they're not here. As soon as well, I walked I mean, into the is, hotel, this is this is this is the last big event, right? Where we're kind of offsite, and then from um, there are no plans for any events in the future, but there will be events. But they will be small scale, and they will be at you know our place, the Grovian Doll Museum, and and so really, basically, you're looking at events with 40 people or less right so this is the last big big this uh, is the event. big one and this and, is did i say is, the biggest one it's the biggest one and it is very special when you think about all the things going on in the world that we somehow planned a red cross event right and you know we were supposed to have three uh representatives of the red cross here tomorrow but obviously they have got the weight of the world on their shoulders and they're right now on their way to Texas and right. Florida mm -hmm. and Georgia 
and but we you know we carry on and we do our thing we carry on and, and when you can't be the in there actually doing something the next best thing you can do is giving them money Ex to the exactly. ones that do so exactly. so um and one of our favorite ways to give money is to buy dolls and then the money goes to the wonderful cause so if you guys are just tuning in we've had a lot of shares already on this video we're here live with michael canadas in the launching pad the green room of the rose percy event and we never get to see these dolls up close. This is the first video of its kind. Where do we start? Well, we should start with the Widow of the North. And she is a widow, but in actuality, she's right now mourning her parakeet. Okay. So, <laughs> Did he fly away? Well, he, he went to his maker. Oh. So it's, it's her parakeet. And she did lose her husband, but he wasn't a soldier. But she is still, she's still the widow of, widow of the North. I love her cameo. We have to kind of have some fun with it. She is a lot of fun, and all of your dolls tell stories. You, uh, you've had a couple widows before in the past, or dolls yes. that were wearing yes. the black clothing. Exactly, and that this is the place for that. You know, that was. Mm -hmm. um, let's face it, a half. There were probably about a half a million widows. There were from that that conflict. Now, as a culture vulture, was it That's fun? Right. Was it culture fun? vulture. <laughs> was it fun for you to put, put to put these wonderful stories together? Yes, but you know what? Also, too, when you're doing a doll, the doll basically tells you who they are. Right. And it, you have to kind of work with it. Mm -hmm. Of what, what, like for instance, this doll is our. This is Fanny Mae, and she's a bride of the North. And you can see that, you know, she is wealthy she's got an abundance of lace and trimmings and all the things Wonderful. and one thing that we do do to people that have participated in our events is the dolls are dedicated to them and it's really the only thing that we can give our don't you know our volunteers that work really hard mm -hmm. is we honor them with some kind of sediment and th in this one's case this one is in honor of barbara jones streisand artist and humanitarian. Wonderful. Oh, that is so special, and I just love the uh, platform that she's on as well. Actually, the platforms these, that they are all on. These platforms were made by our decorating committee, which is Jan Rohrman and Judy Lloyd, and they're right over well, here. Well, they did a fabulous working. job. Thank yeah. you, ladies. Yeah. This is so wonderful. And then, of course, we've oh, got one, Uncle Sam. We love Uncle Sam. And, you know, I, would, I will probably bid on him myself because... I would look, you know, I've been looking for an Uncle Sam for a while, and he's just a great piece. Is he the same mold that they used for the farmer? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't think there's any difference. No, but he is room. wonderful. But you've got to have those wonderful clothes with the. Oh, he is so perfect and for this, this one, event. This one, Rachel, I think is going to be a hot ticket because it's a lovely little thin doll, but it's a sewing necessary. Oh, look at that, everybody. And so it has all these little compartments with little special things. And you have your thimble holder and a more of a pin holder here. And I think this one's going to be so much I fun. You know, you hope that it does well, but I think, I think it will do. Well, they always do well, and then sometimes they really surprise us by uh, just going crazy, which is what, well, we, which we, which what, is what, we, what we hope. The yes. next lady is I'm particularly fond of. This is a... Society waitress from the Knickerbocker kitchen, and at the Metropolitan Fair where Rose Percy came from, there was the famous restaurant, the Knickerbocker Kitchen. And so, you know, all walks of life volunteered. The society ladies would volunteer, and they would come in Dutch, they, their version of early Dutch style clothes, which New York was once part of the Netherlands, Holland. So, and they owned New York. If you guys are just tuning in, we are here live in the green room of the Rose Percy event here in Springfield, Illinois. And we are getting a backstage one-on-one -on -one with Michael Kanadis and his crew seeing the wonderful dolls that will be auctioned off at the Rose Percy event on Saturday. And this is a fun one too. This is a Christmas doll. And that was a part of the Civil War era as ladies would dress as, as Christmas ladies and you'd win a, a prize and then you would be able to pick the toy off the dress. Oh, I love it. And I see it's dedicated to Mary Sanko. It's so perfect for her. Yes, it is. <laughs> Mary Sanko is our, our um, She chair, has been working so woman. hard. Yes, she has. 
And you know, um, running a Rose Percy event is not for sissies. No. It's, you have to be pretty tough. To, you have to, to be tough, that. but you guys are so famous for your events because everything is just so well done, so well oiled. Well, we try it's to, just, we try to do it the shows. best we can. And then we have our little drummer boy, which is a, really a wonderful, clean piece. Um, a lot of these ribbons that you see, um, there was, the, there was an organization called the Grand Army of the Republic, G-A-R, -A and they had at one point over a half a million members, and their um, medals were all hung with ribbons. So I always look for ribbon that was made for the G-A-R, and it, it just has a, a specialness to it, and it does help connect this doll to Rose Percy because for 60 years, she worked for the Grand Army of the Republic in fundraising, and she was even, you know, all those years ago doing nostalgia things where people would, the members would get together and live the old time and, re, you know, uh, redo battles and skirmishes. Right. So it's kind of nice to connect it with our things today. As you've been leading up to this for the last several months, do you find that you think in Rose Percy? Like, the ribbon. That's, I need that for Rose Percy, basically yes. everything oh, you that you do, look at. you do, yeah. And you, you salt away things mm -hmm. that, that work, and, and you find things uh, throughout the year that, and, and you know, honestly, a lot of our events that we do, we build the event around the item. Right. Because sometimes you can have a great idea, and then you have no favors, mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. unlike our, we just had a Marie Antoinette event, and we, Dave and I were in Paris and we went by a shop and it was a Marie Antoinette tea shop and it was like, the light bulb went Done. Off. Yeah. Well, we know that by the time Michael says he has an idea, it's too late, it's happening. It's sad. And <laughs> it's isn't it right, David? The last thing David wants to say, I had an idea. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's, it's already in motion. Yeah. Stop thinking. This is wonderful. This is our uh, Red Cross nurse. It's a little Kessner girl. She has her and little nurse. That, the, 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 the little doll that comes with it, that is an original Red Cross doll. Oh, look that at was that. With Rose Percy. And how many? She had several of those, right? She had hundreds of those. Oh, hundreds. And um, we have, sent, in the last six years or so, we've had events where they people have gotten them, we've just auctioned them, we've donated them. We've you know, sold them for the benefit. But now we're down, what you see now, here today, this is it. That's it. And then there's just a little, Rose, Rose is keeping a, a selection for herself. Mm -hmm. I mean, she didn't really need $150. Right. Of the same kind. Of the same kind. Yeah. So she's got a nice selection. But what is interesting is she's kept all of, a lot of her Red Cross dolls are veterans. And a lot of them are amputees originally meant to be amputees, so yeah. it, was, it was kind of to educate children that, you know, not everybody has two legs. Right, and exactly. So That's a, uh, a wonderful piece of trivia. Maybe a lot of people didn't know that Rose Percy was a doll collector, or is a doll collector. Well, she, you know, she, she goes with the flow. <laughs> she does a lot of things. We absolutely love her. Who is this doll dedicated this, to? This doll is dedicated to Sharon Napier. And Sharon Napier runs a show in Michigan called Dollicious. And one of Rose Percy's favorite events that she's ever done was her event in Michigan. Because the people in Michigan were so responsive and so grateful yeah. and and Sh Sharon was the chair to the, uh, the, the so she, story event. she sure yeah. worked that yeah. one he is fantastic I love his little pouch right here what, what do you call a pouch like that uh, a satchel a satchel and he's he's dressed as a zoov which was a, um, a, a New York regiment that wore, wore kind of a Turkish style mm -hmm. costume but if you really look at this Rachel it's very high fashion you could make a skirt and this would be on a Paris runway. Oh, absolutely. I feel like I've seen a, a Stife character kind of yeah, dress. There is, there is there a, are. Yeah, there is. There are. Okay. I mean, it is, a, it is a known group. I mean, they are a group of soldiers that were very brave. So, um, but you know, they had these crazy outfits. And I think in a lot of ways, they probably, they're a lot more comfortable because if you look at this outfit mm -hmm. versus a, a regular Union soldier's outfit, 
I mean, they're very tight and wool and itchy. Mm -hmm. At least they had some freedom. Some breathing this. room. Yes. yes. If you guys are just tuning in, you are welcome to ask a question. We have a lot of people tuning in. Thank you for your shares. We are looking at the dolls that will be auctioned at the Rose Percy luncheon on Saturday. This is an, uh, a little uh, china head that's uh, meant to represent a cook at the Knickerbocker ki um, kitchen. She's a society lady cooking. Because remember, society ladies then knew how to cook. Mm. So mm -hmm. they had a full on you know, enterprise going, feeding thousands of people. So they needed all the help they could get. And this girl comes with that wonderful little stove. Oh, that stove is fantastic. And the, this one is dedicated to Catherine Peterson. Who oh, is a I red, love it. Yes. And Catherine almost has a perfect record of attendance. And since Catherine is a, a, a chef, a chef, so we did a little stove. This oh, doesn't mean so that perfect. she has to buy she has it, to buy but it. If she wants well, to. Well, and she also wink, wink, happens to like china heads. So that, I don't know how that happens. <laughs> that is so great. Oh, this is a beautiful fashion. This stall is to represent Mrs. Sarah Ogden Hoffman, who ran the, the boarding school that, oh, that yes. finishing mm -hmm. school that Rose Percy came from. So this is to represent Mrs. Ogden Hoffman. Wonderful. So we want her to be very ladylike, yet also patriotic. We're getting in so you can see that hat. And she's so really fantastic. very, and she has, there's a few dolls here that have really fantastic shoes, and she's got great shoes. It's really all about the and shoes. And of course she's dressed in Union Blue, because that would be the color for the Union. The trims that you use on these dolls, on their costumes and their hats, are just superb. Thank you. Yep. They're well, just I mean, wonderful. you. I, yeah. And I get some of that stuff from Ruby Lane. Oh well, that's so great. That's great to know. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Okay, so we have this bride of the South. The bride of the South, and she is a wonderful. Look at her hairstyle. She's a wonderful. Look at that little covered wagon. The really very perky little face, and I think just a really cute little doll. And this is um, dedicated to Cindy Nicholas Bailey who is one of the sponsors of the event, like Ruby Lane, which, by the way, thank you for your sponsorship. That really, really means a lot. You're very welcome. We're thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to be here. Uh, I love the seed pearls on her dress. Yes, that was fun to do. You know, we, 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 have, uh, we have one guy in our staff that's very, very at attaching good at those. that. Mm -hmm. So fabulous. This one, this nurse you should look at because you think that maybe we made a mistake with the headdress, but we really didn't. Um, a lot of people forget that during World War I, the nurses had to deal with things like lice, mm -hmm. cooties. Cooties mm -hmm. was actually a real, uh, uh, and measles. So you cover your eyebrows so that you're not going to have thing, little critters oh attack you in the eyebrows. Oh my God, how interesting. Because they really yeah. did have to they were dealing in really dire situations. I mean, I think pretty much most of us today live a, a life like a bowl of cherries. Right. We don't have the hardships no, that they do. No, having to. Yeah, this is just such a wonderful opportunity to learn because of, a lot of the time we look at dolls and we say, how pretty. Yeah, isn't that how pretty? How pretty. <laughs> and these dolls, we're looking at them and we're saying how pretty, but we're also looking at them and we are learning. Look at this English wax. That is really an all original English wax, and that was a donated by Margaret Great Kincaid in honor of the American Red Cross. And it is it is a, an all original doll, and we even have the original crate that it. Oh, look at that, in. everybody! And the only thing we've done is just to make her festive for us. We put a little ribbon on her and a little bonnet. And it's probably a Parati. Wax doll. And how old would you think that is for our viewers? 18, 1890s. 1890s. And what's really nice about it is it's got dark hair, Look which you don't that. always see that kind of dark hair. They're usually blonde, right? Yeah. 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 And that's got some nice, beautiful nice doll. full head. I wish I had that much hair. Thank you, Margaret <laughs> Kincaid. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. And here's another beautiful wax this doll. This is another wax doll that was um, donated by Carol Cameron. And this is Lizzie. And we know that there was a girl that was at Mrs. Ogden Hoffman's school that was named Lizzie. So this is Lizzie, and she is in her work, work clothes. She's, she's in her work, ready to rumble. Yeah, she's ready to work. And she's got her Mrs. Ogden Hoffman's school for industrious girls game. 
It's so great. And All you, of these little touches. If you could do everything in this game, then you're a genius. Okay, well, we're going to try. Can we try it on Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a, a great dollhouse. And are these some more of Rose Percy's those personal are, dolls? Those are the final group. And so one thing that was very important in the Civil War and in World War I and in World War II and today, still today, are canteens. And today, the closest thing that you'd have to a canteen is a USO. Mm -hmm. But a USO is a canteen. And it is an extremely important place to have available for service personnel. It's kind of like those, those of us that travel, and you're traveling across the world, and you have a membership in the, um, uh, the club at the airport. You walk in there, you get comfortable seats, you can get your cappuccino, you just feel like, I can mm -hmm. do this. That's what a USO was and a canteen going back to the Civil War. It's a place, and, and say maybe your allies, that you'd never, you'd never meet a, a French soldier and mm -hmm. you're an um, American or an English, they'd all get together at the canteen. And that, it really builds the team yeah. and is part of yeah. mental health to have Absolutely. a place. Absolutely, build so some morale, So I think it's a people don't place. realize that we really should be su supporting the USO which, by the way, we are doing that on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. So this is uh, a fabulous piece because it is the dollhouse, and then it's you also bliss. get the dolls. Mm -hmm. It's a bliss It's in house. remarkable condition. It is in very good condition. And then actually, you know, we didn't plan this, but the, the, uh, our, our um, decorating committee made this platform for it, and it really and actually so it really works great. And these are all junior Red Cross members. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You guys are tuning in. We're here live in the green room at the Rose Percy uh, event here in Springfield. They are very, very busy, and we are getting a wonderful, never-before-seen backstage pass of the dolls that will be auctioned off on Saturday. And here we have the Widow of the South, and this is really a wonderful brown-haired paper mache. It's not black; it's brown. But I don't know that you can see this, but wonderful this shawl lace. is extraordinary is that I mean, an antique fabric yes oh absolutely but look at that i mean it is just so just so beautiful delicate i mean it's it really is phenomenal. she must have gotten an inheritance or a well you know what um you know it times were tough but they all they did have people had because if a widow better, was wearing something like this she must have had money she would she would have money but they didn't have in those days anywhere near the amount of clothes that we have but what they had were much much better than anything we have and they took care of them yes i mean yes they were listen, very I well mean, made I, I, my clothes 30 years ago were much better quality and much better more yeah. and actually more expensive than they are today and you probably have some of them still i do yeah, yeah i absolutely. have them because i then i think oh look at those little legs <laughs> <laughs> well i think we can all identify with that a little bit now look at this wonderful presentation right here. Well, this was donated by Fritzy of Fritzy's oh, Dolls. Oh, Fritzy, thank you. And she's been collecting up this little gaggle of Chinese. Oh, it, you know what it does? It looks like Fritzy. Yeah, it does. It, it, it's so great. And all these little pretty accoutrements. And this is, I think, is going to be a fun, this is going to be a lot, it's not going to be a centerpiece, It's but it will be a live auction item. So someone will have the opportunity to, to and this is a very nice china with beautiful, you know, wonderful clothes and Wonderful flat early feet. fabric. I love yeah. that print. Yes. So great. Now, Fritzy's going to be helping uh, and Rick with the live the, auction. There, Fritzy is the auctioneer. Fritzy is the auctioneer. Yeah. Right on yes. Fritzy. Rick, yeah. Rick, 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 Rick and Rick. Fritzy, is the, yeah. Okay, so they're both going to be uh, up there. And Rick, he, I think he auctioned last year. He did. Yes, he's done it. They, they, they've been very, very nice. Um, supporters of the event and done a great job but she did ask me today because she came in to kind of view this to get you know get your juices flowing and she said what is the most rare item that is going to be auctioned and I did say it's not on this ta these tables <gasps> oh it is going to be we have a quilt that is called the Carter quilt and it's a quilt that we secured with our, our group and Lori Santamore worked to get um, President 
um, Jimmy Carter and Rosalind Carter to each sign a square and the square has been incorporated into a quilt and it is a, it is a masterpiece and it's going to be auctioned off and the, that money that it brings will go to Habitat to Humanity for a veterans wonderful project. oh how exciting and you'll be able to tomorrow to show them that because it'll be up and lit and it's really wonderful I mean these are all wonderful things too but that is going to be I mean for us for the spirit you, of the event it's, yes it's and absolutely you, and if you think about important. it we're a doll group and yet we've managed to get you know the 39th president of the United States to participate Take notice. Mm -hmm. that's pretty nice that is a pretty and big I deal did, I did get a talk into from um, President Car Carter's um, um, assistant and she told me, she said, you know, the president is really not happy about Rose Percy stopping fundraising and they don't understand <laughs> why this is happening. And I had to say, well, you know, she is 157 years old. And yeah. it's, not, it's not that she's stopping, it's just going to be doing in a different way. Yeah. And they could accept that because if you think about it, these are people that have worked their whole life mm -hmm. to give to other people. Mm -hmm. So, And they're still doing it. So, right. To them, it's just part of life. You know, you don't quit. When, right. But we're not quitting. We're just doing it in a different she, way. She's not quitting. She's uh, tenderly redefining. That's right. So we have uh, this Alice this is, back She here. is your sewing companion. And she's really, she's really, I think, very sweet. And she has a lot of Fabulous wonder, hat. wonderful things. And um, Oh, look at the, the thread on the back. How fun is that? Yes, and she's loaded with wonderful you know, this needle case and her scissors and uh, the, the pins. So and much This is a fun. button, a nice button, um, a pin holder. So it's really a, 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 a cute piece. Wonderful, wonderful. Each one of these dolls is a, is a window and tells a story yes. about something of the past, and which is just so great. Little Liberty and Lady Liberty. You know, you're really not supposed to cut up flags and make clothes out of them. But I am a former flag boy, so I know how to handle flags. The flags. And the exception is you can make a costume for Lady Liberty. For it's Lady a, Liberty, okay. that is the exception. It's okay. So this is And a, she is doing it justice. Yeah, and this is a cute little handwork. Oh, um, it's girl. such a great And this is this costume. is an antique flag. And it you know, this would be fantastic oh, in a she's wonderful. in a fourth of July display right you know you don't have to have a lot of them and then this is this is our brown eyed china as an early early like early lady and is that another early flag mm -hmm. that that's a very early flag as it is yes yeah. and it's and you know what's so kind of nice about this as we were working with this with our crew one of our main guys that works for us and you know they're immigrants and he said do you know I have never touched an American flag before today? Oh, and that was kind of nice. Yeah, you know it was. Kinda, yeah, and you know if you think about it, it is a nice. It, it is a wonderful a nice thing to do. Absolutely, to yeah. I stand next to these dolls, and I can just feel the magnitude of the work and um, what they represent, and it's just so exciting. We've been talking to you a lot about what what our viewers can expect in the next couple days, and can you give them a little taste of of what they can expect to be tuning in? If they're not here, well, I mean, I think, uh, um, I mean, I think it's going to be very exciting. I mean, we don't know. Um, you know, this is about raising funds. We have no idea what mm -hmm. it will be, what it will be. Um, the nice thing about Rose is she's fiscally responsible. So mm -hmm. we've kind of gone into this like thirty-five cents in the profit right which is way better than the other way exactly so I you know I think what we do we will do but you know what there's a lot of people it's not just David and myself and Mary there are Mary Senko there are a lot of people that really really put a lot of effort into this to make it happen and speaking of those people we're just gonna pan oh you guys can keep going this is like Santa's workshop over here look at, the, look at what they've done I mean, look at you and I are everything they did all of this just during the course of our interview we have and been working 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 we're so thrilled we know and this is just so exciting you it looks like you're gonna be here to the 
wee hours. Look at all of this stuff you've had to organize. My goodness, what a treat to be here. We've never had a backstage pass like no, this, so thank you so much. No, because we don't give up the magic, but yeah. you know, it'll be a whole different experience. And I'm, I'm sure you're gonna come to the event and, and get it when these things are in situation. Oh, when they're in situation, they are so grand and they're so wonderful just right here. But we couldn't have gotten a, a peek like this into them at the event. There's absolutely no, no, you no way. You couldn't get that close. No, because so just wonderful. logistically, the size of the tables and with chairs, mm -hmm. and and you know the thing about it is it goes so fast mm -hmm. that I mean, Rachel, you're going to be you're going to be. Tasmanian Devil running you are. around. Yep. You are. Just like yeah. the, uh, the yeah. last event it goes at USBC. So fast. Uh, we got a lot of comments on that wonderful dog of Rose oh, Percy. That's Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle. Yep. We've had several people comment and say they absolutely love him. Yankee Can you tell Doodle. us a little bit about Yankee Doodle? Well, we had Yankee Doodle for many, many years, and he never really fit with our decor or. And then he got put in a box, but I could never bring myself to sell Yankee Doodle. So let me go. David, let's, let's, me bring Yankee Doodle. Here's Yankee Doodle. Here is Yankee Doodle, everybody. And this is um, Rose Percy adopted him. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they're best friends. Oh, they're best friends. She doesn't go anywhere without him. He is so great. She's been known to sleep with him, too. Well, I don't blame her. <laughs> he looks very cuddly. But, you know, he, he, one of the displays that we have Rose Percy in is open it's open that someone could touch her. We don't have people that would do saying things like that, and he's always with her. He's always but I've often her. thought about, just for fun, putting a sound effect with a, a motion. That if, if anyone you, got if you, too close. And, that, and then have a growl. That would and, be perfect. Yeah, wouldn't that be good? And, uh, that would know, be a lot of fun. We have, we have three bulldogs that could provide the growl. We know? certainly yeah, do. Yeah. So when can we? When do we actually get to see Miss Rose Percy? I know that she. Well, is. you'll see her tomorrow morning. We will if see you're her coming at the, Rose, the, yes, at the Red yes, Cross of, um, yes. brunch. Yes. So she tell will us be there. about the brunch. Well, the brunch is. Um, well, what's really special? Well, the the brunch is. I don't think you've ever gone to a, the Red Cross. You didn't go to I the, have never been, okay. personally, no. It's a totally different experience because we really delve into the World War I time frame and how epic that was to the, for the world. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, before Rose went to the Red Cross, her own, original owner, Bertha, who had her since she was nine years old. Bertha was an incredible woman and was involved in any, everything, you know, helping with the schools, underwriting schools, education for uh, black youth to get them job training. This is in the, the, the last century. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, as her life was, Bertha's life was ending, the World War I was beginning and so she put Rose back into service and they gave a lot of teas in World War I era to raise money for ambulances. So in the World War I era, a ambulance, which was basically a flatbed truck with a canvas top, that was an ambulance. Mm -hmm. Those cost $300 from a Ford Motor Company. And, um, you know, if you're doing a tea at 25 cents a person, and they're successful, you can buy a lot of ambulances. Right. And um, so that, we kind of delve into that, what was going on, the changes in the world that Rose saw, and then eventually she became the mascot of the Junior Red Cross and mm -hmm. held that, still holds that position. So we kind of get into that, but I stick with World War I because basically the things that the Red Cross did Things that they did in the Civil War, World War One, and World War Two were all the same. Mm -hmm. It's the same concepts of, um, you know, sanitary providing. Um, like for instance, it's a sad thing, but if your if your child did not make it home from the Western Front, it would be the Red Cross that would deliver their personal effects. Mm -hmm. These are very important things that people forget, and. Um, like for instance, we all know a red letter day. You've heard of red letter mm -hmm. day. What a red red letter day really is, is you got a letter from your child or your sweetheart 
delivered through the Red Cross. Mm -hmm. So that was a red letter day. And that, that was, was enough to day. keep somebody going. Absolutely. We've had a lot of people tuning in just saying how informative this conversation is. So thank you so much for thank you. chatting with us. And we're not done. We're just, uh, we're still going because <laughs> people are sharing and, and chatting like crazy. And tomorrow, I don't know if I have tomorrow morning, if I think we have a lady coming and she's going to set up a exhibit of uh, Red, um, nurse dolls. I think she will do an interview with you, but I'm not sure. But you will get. If Hopefully, she does, fingers you crossed. Will get, you will get some goodies. Oh, that yeah, sounds she wonderful. Has a, she has a great collection of nurse dolls. But no matter what, Rose will be there to say hello, and Yankee will be there and too. And Yankee will be there. <laughs> and speaking of, I just wanted to go back to what you just said earlier about how. Um, it's the same what you're doing, um, what the Red Cross has been doing. Um, I think it was an event in Milwaukee. Did you have uh, it yes. was in Milwaukee? Mm -hmm. where yes, we did. I remember uh, you raised enough money to buy, I think, two vans. Oh, no, that was in Charleston. Oh, in Charleston. And um, that is really, first of all, that was very, we kind of know, well, we have to approve of the charity that the group, we don't. We, this is, this is the only event that we've done where we're responsible for delivering the funds to the charity. Mm -hmm. This is the first time this has ever happened. In the past, it's been the clubs. And we approve of what they do, or we say, sometimes we say, no, we don't think that that's mm -hmm. a good place to go. Now, we knew where they were giving the money, and we agreed to that. What we didn't know is that they planned on using that money for... Um, vans to transport veterans. And what I thought was very uh, uh, sweet about that is it was really almost 100 years to the day that Rose was doing that oh, a century hungry. ago oh. in World War I. Yeah. So, okay, that was then. Mm -hmm. I ju we just re recently received photographs of these beautiful two brand new vans, vans yeah. that are fitted with hydraulics and just I mean, they are cool vans, <laughs> and they have the, the Doll Club, um, uh, Charm of Charleston's Doll Club's lo uh, logo, and Miss Unity. Oh, how so special. Miss Unity, oh, that's so you know, is, great. So, so, I just thought of that when you said about buying the ambulances, because I remember that moment at that event when, when you and announced what was it. And what was really sweet about that event is the lady that came, usually we try to have someone from the charity come mm -hmm. and talk to the group. And she gave it her all, and she really, you know, tried to get us to believe in her cause. And I think she thought she was, and she said this, she thought that if she really tried hard, she'd get $500. Oh. So instead she got, you know, $40,000 oh, $40, worth of vans. Oh, just, oh, and the, the thing about it is once that group gave the vans, that other people stepped in and said, you know, we'll give you the hydraulic uh, lifts and we'll do this and that. Isn't that and, so and great? And the nice thing is once they have something good, mm -hmm. then it will continue. Right. If you're just trying to take some junky thing and keep fixing it with duct tape, mm -hmm. nobody's going to support that. But by that club and Rose taking the first leap, it can go forward. It was Mr. Rogers said who, in a time of uh, bad times, when you see things on the news, uh, look for the helpers. Yeah. Just look for the helpers yeah. because when when we see things in the news that we don't appreciate, and then um, disasters happen, people forget about racism and they forget about um, hate. You're right. And they help each other. You're right. And, and I feel like and, Rose and, brings and, that out. And I'm going to tomorrow. I'm going to give you a little preview of my program. Um, one thing that was expected in the Civil War and the First World War, there was always a need for socks, and you do not realize why. We had sock companies making socks 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. seven days a week, because if you're out in the battlefield and your feet get wet, you can die from trench foot. So they take the socks off, throw them over the, you know, they do, and they couldn't clean them. Mm -hmm. Same thing in the Civil War. So in World War I, there was a slogan, and it was called, knit your bit. And you were expected to, every single minute that you had free, if you were on an escalator, an elevator, everywhere, you were supposed to knit socks as many as you could. Awesome. And it didn't matter if you were the Queen of, the queen of England, the queen, 
queen's mother now, the queen mother, she mm -hmm. knit, knit, and I think if you think about it, it's a real simple, knit your bit, mm -hmm. which is do your part. Yeah. And you know what, Rachel, you have your part that you can do, I have mine. And I think that also, too, what you're doing right now is really, really important. I don't think a lot of people realize that Mary Lewis, the founder of the UFDC, went on the radio to talk about dolls. Now, how do you talk about a doll on the radio? It's a little difficult. It's, it's difficult. With a vis but you know what? She did it. She, she pushed that yeah. agenda of this is it. And part of the reason she pushed the agenda is they were helping war orphans after World War II. Right. So everybody can play their part. And, you know, stop making your excuses because, you know, everybody has a you know. Everyone has a sob story. Yeah, Let's just yeah, all work together yeah. and, and help each other out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is just, uh, it's wonderful. We've had a lot of people tuning in. We have several that are tuning in from all over the world right now. They have been sharing the video. We wish you guys were here, but I this event here is too. sold out. It's sold out. It's yes. sold out. So if somebody is watching this video and they would like to register, it's a little late. Yeah. But if they want to uh, tune in throughout the weekend, we will be having wonderful interviews that you have set up with collectors and yes. um, different There's, people. And you know what? The Rose Percy group, they're very special. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, a lot of them are low key. You don't, they're not, they don't make a big thing about themselves, but they're very, I mean, they have to me what being patriotic really is. Mm -hmm. And when I say patriotic, I don't mean you know, if you're British and you're patriotic, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. If you're French and you're, you know, but it's, it, they're patriotic and there are a lot of people that they put their money where their mouth is. Exactly. They're not around waving their flag mm -hmm. and rah, rah America, but never doing anything for America. So this right. is a very special group. And what's always been challenging to us is we started this, we didn't know, you know, this is the eighth event. We didn't know that we'd have people that would come to every event. And so you have to shake it up and have a new point of view and, um, you know, new fun things for them. So I, I think that the Rose Percy people are very special. The Rose Percy people are and absolutely... I, and I'm also going to add another thing, Rachel, which is this is, this is the support of you know, your mother and, and many of the, uh, your mother was just turn of the century antiques. When you go and do an event like this, it is a financial leap of faith. You're signing your name to a contract that could, you know, is $30,000 for food. People don't realize how much food and things hotels cost. So you're, the people that always put their money down first, they, you, they don't give you any problem with it. Mm -hmm. They are the first to support it, are our dealers. The dealers. So they are a very special group. And if we said to them, we're going to go and do a Rose Percy event on the moon. <laughs> they, they would be there. They would. Oh, we'd be the, we'd, we'd be the first yeah. to sign up. I mean, uh, uh, even an example of that, we were on the Queen Mary, and some of the regular um, attendees were there. And they said, where's the next... Um, event and I said oh well the next event is going to be in Africa and they said oh well, that's interesting and the next day they came up I was joking the next day they came up to us and they said you know we've decided we want to go go on go to, to Africa Rose oh Africa. I would be there how fabulous <laughs> so it was just a joke it's so that's just, how devoted they, they are, are very yeah. devoted and uh, like you said they they do put their money where their mouth is um, the people who do um, donate the most are the are the silent people who just it just happens and they don't talk about it and they just do what they need to do for the greater good and we absolutely love and appreciate them so very much no, that makes it work. It makes it all. It does. Work. Several of them are sitting outside in the lobby right now, and they don't know we're in here in the in the green room. And they room. want to be in here. Oh, they want to be in yeah, here. Yeah, they want to. Well, be they're going to have to watch our video because we have the exclusive pass. Yes. Well, Wonderful. we don't want them in here because they need to still have the excitement of seeing it in life. In the and yeah. and it's it's a totally different experience and I think that a lot of two people that like in our club that we're in a lot of and a lot of these people are here they see Rose Percy regularly but you know what all of them say it's not the same when she's performing right it's a whole different 
experience. Yeah. So that's part of why we come. And you know what? We come because we all have fun. This we is do. Fun. We, it's fun to be around doll people. It's fun to be around other people that collect and are in doll clubs. And uh, that we just share all the same energy and interest. Exactly. Exactly. And it is so great. So thank you for giving us this backstage tour. Uh, a lot of times I come to your booth and ask for an interview, and you say, "I'm not ready." I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> And I know you're not ready, but you are working very hard in here with your whole crew. Did you want to introduce any of your crew, or are we going to do that uh, later we'll on in the weekend? We'll do that later. We'll do okay. that later on okay. the weekend. They are very busy. They're busy. Well, everyone is tuning in and saying, hey, we've had a lot of shares. Again, these are all the wonderful dolls that will be auctioned off at the Rose Percy Luncheon on Saturday. We are here with Michael Canadas of the Carmel Doll Shop, David Robinson, and his entire devoted crew over here They're we the are best. they are the best i know how hard you guys have been working so thank you again michael and we will see you, you in the morning we'll see you in the morning all right bye-bye okay, bye-bye